What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On this segment, we're going to discuss Steven Dorff hating on Marvel again. But, but, the man has a point. The man has a point. He does hate on the MCU quite a bit. I don't think he's getting any roles anytime soon. I don't think they're gonna bring him back as Frost. All right, so this is from Joe Blow Movies, Movie News. Steven Dorff is sick of Marvel garbage and mocks the new PG-13 Blade. Continuing, so back in 2021 when Marvel Studios' Black Widow was released, Steven Dorff went off on Marvel Films and stated he was embarrassed for Scarlett Johansson. That's funny, I actually remember that. Now Dorff has doubled down, stating how sick he is of Marvel garbage. Variety reports that while Dorff showcases his new film Divinity at Sundance, he laughs off the notion of wanting to be in a superhero film unless they were akin to the original Blade, which he co-starred in, or something like The Dark Knight. Try not to drag this out. Um, so he says, all this other garbage is just embarrassing. You know what I mean? I mean, God bless them. They're making a bunch of money, but their movies suck. And he laughs. And nobody's going to remember them. Nobody's remembering Black Adam at the end of the day. I didn't even see that movie. It looks so bad. Well, Black Adam is not Marvel, Steven. <laughs> Let me just get on to the Blade part. So he says, Marvel's used to me trashing them anyway. How's that PG Blade movie going for you? That can't get a director. Because anybody who goes there is going to be laughed at by everyone because we already did it and made it the best. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done with Steven Dorff here. But, but, like I said, the man kind of has a point when it comes to like PG, PG-13 and Blade. That's just not going to work. That's just not going to work. Um, Certain characters <clears throat> deserve and need an R rating. Uh, I'm going to drop some characters. The Punisher, my favorite Marvel character of all time has to have an R rating. It's just not going to work with a PG-13. Uh, Wolverine, Venom, Ghost Rider, Morbius, Blade, Moon Knight. And I know why they do the PG-13 thing. I, I think we all do. They're trying to make as much money as they can. I mean, it is a business. But at the same time, the irony is funny. Like, they're hurting their business by not staying true to the characters and not doing them justice by having them in you know the proper vehicles like r-rated films if you put these characters in r-rated films and do them correctly they're gonna have like um you know longevity and they'll be beloved by fans don't be afraid to have r-rated films they can do very well and again you know not to sound redundant some characters have to be R-rated. Superman doesn't matter. Superman doesn't have to be R-rated. You know, Superman is a cookie cutter, clean cut. That could be PG. Batman could be darker. You could you could play around with Batman a bit, but it's just the point. You know, there's some characters that that don't need an R rating. Some do. So going back to Marvel and Steven Dorf. I've read his other quotes and stuff. He he kind of sounds like, you know, sour grapes a little bit for for whatever weird reason. He got like a you know a hard on from Marvel. Um, he's he, you know he's saying that he would never do a Marvel film. He wouldn't catch him dead in a Marvel film. But I don't think they were knocking on his door anyway. I'm not trying to hate on the guy, but he's very opinionated and he's brash. So. He could take it back. I mean, those are just the facts. I don't really think they were looking for Steven Dorff. But the man has a point about Blade being PG versus a rated R film. And the original Blade, you know, I think it came out like in 1998. I went to the movie theater to see Blade. I was blown away. It was like one of those movie experience films. You know, Jurassic Park was like that. The Matrix was like that. Blade. You go to the movies to see these films. It was a freaking experience. And you were privileged to be around that time and old enough to go to the theater to see it. Terminator 2, Aliens, that's another one that's going way back. But yeah, man, um, that first Blade movie was incredible. The sequels, eh, 
they kind of like were cash grabs to me. Um, I I enjoyed them, you know, something to watch, popcorn flicks, but they pale in comparison to the first blade. The first blade was was a masterpiece. That's like hands down one of the best superhero films of all time. Wesley Snipes will always be Blade to me. You know, um, Mahashala Ali, I, I wish him the best. I wish him well. He could possibly pull it off, but he's not going to be Wesley Snipes. Let's, let's, let's be real, guys. Wesley Snipes had the look. He had the physical ability being a real martial artist. He was born to play Blade. The same way Hugh Jackman was born to play Wolverine, just absolutely nailed it. The same way Robert Downey Jr. nailed it with Iron Man, Chris Hemsworth with Thor. Although, although, the directors are screwing him up. They're making him into like a comedian. They're making Thor like a fifth Three Stooges member or fourth, fifth. That's a whole other conversation. But yeah, Wesley, you know, it, here, here's the thing with Wesley Snipes. It's crazy. He was in Coming to America 2, and he looked great. <laughs> the dude looked like he hasn't aged a day from when he did Blade. And I, I saw him in that movie, and I'm like, damn, he can still pull it off. Like, 100%. Why isn't Marvel getting Wesley Snipes to come back? Because that would be absolutely huge. Wesley Snipes right now, I don't know what's going on. He was at like some Oscars, some award ceremony, and um, he didn't look well. Like he lost like a lot of weight. He just he just kind of looks sick. Uh, I hope he's not. I hope it's just like a diet thing, like a cleansing thing. Wesley Snipes is a legend to me. Love the guy. Um, watched like all of his action movies growing up along with like with Van Damme, of course, Arnie, Stallone. So, you know, I hope Wesley's not sick. Um, but yeah, and coming to America too at that point, pff, the guy looked phenomenal. He definitely could have pulled off Blade again. The Blade film has already been through like um, a few directors. I know one of them definitely dropped, dropped off or he like took off. Uh, they were scrambling to get another director, so that's kind of like a mess. I think they rewrote the script because it wasn't like violent enough or it didn't have enough action, which is a terrible sign. It's like, come on guys, please don't screw Blade up. <laughs> anyway guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Steven Dorff's comments? Do you agree with him on any level? Do you think Marvel movies suck, superhero movies suck? I don't think so. I think he's a little bit misinformed. I don't know what films he's watching, but there's some, there's been some really good Marvel and superhero films in general. Some of them are dumb. Some of them are cash grabs. So I understand where he's coming from depending on what he viewed. But I think he's spot on with Blade. I do not think they're going to make a better Blade movie than the original. Don't see that happening. But let me know in the comment section, guys. Thanks for watching the segment. If you enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Until then, take care.